All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video, and here we have our boy Dark Mass King. Now, funny enough, this exact artwork for Dark Mass King is a crazy good card in Dragon Ball Heroes. Well, he got a Dokkan Awakening here with this Heroes collab right now on Dokkan, and his Dokkan Awakening is a monster as well. Um, as long as you have another Dragon Ball Heroes category character next to this Dark Mask King, he is, like, invincible. He'll have guard. Like, they did it the correct way. Rather than giving a unit guard, but then having it be, like, a coin flip, you know, a 50% chance or something like that, there's a condition to where it's guaranteed, so you, you know if it's going to be consistent or not, right? Like, if you're using a full Dragon Ball Hero team or a full crossover team or something like that, this Dark Mask King is going to be phenomenal, right? So let me level him up, let me level his links up, and we'll go ahead and test this boy out. All right, guys, so now we are in an event. We'll start off on the Vegeta family team, because obviously that's going to be a really good place for the buffs for... Uh, Dark Mask King as well as Black Mask Saiyan. I think they're going to work really well in like Vegeta family categories, Super Battle Road, and all that different types of shit. We'll probably, I probably should do a video with Dark Mask King on the Vegeta family stage of Super Battle Road. Um, we'll use both Dark Mask King and Black Mask Saiyan in there because, I mean, that's going to be really big, right? Um, all right, so he's at 88k defense right there, which is like, you know, it's like, that, that, that's good, that's solid. But the reason this guy is so ridiculous is he gets another 100% defense for five turns after he gets hit. So he's going to be over 160k defense. He's going to be good. And then he has guard because we have another Dragon Ball Hero category ally in the, in the turn. And then this Black Mask Saiyan is getting 160% defense when he supers. And Dark Mask King is healing when he supers as well. So it's funny. I did already get the uh, no item... Uh, run uh done right for vegeta family category super rider road but like if i had not yet done it running these two as a rotation would be absolutely like ideal like they would be so good oh i didn't check the links uh but we have everything active except for loyalty so we have six out of seven links active with black mass saiyan so 1.15 not the greatest considering we have six out of seven links active i need to take a look at what um level links my dark mask king is as well you're at 1.7 so i mean i guess this is without any support um and again they are both fairly tanky and then they both lower attack as well which is definitely going to be fairly good uh now a, a lot of times i like to not bring supports um but it's like oh vegeta family actually happens to have the extreme in 50 percent support so We'll go ahead and, uh, you know, get that Scouter Vegeta over on rotation over with uh, Dark Mask King and see how well that's going to go. I mean, on the turn where he has, like, all 200% of his defense and he's guarding, and then, like, this uh, Scouter Vegeta would be on rotation, like, his defense is going to be insane. Like, that's the thing. This Dark Mask King, as long as there's another Dragon Ball Hero category ally in the turn, Dark Mask King is, like, a top beast of an animal of a, of a of a monster right he's so damn good um because it's just like guard with 177k defense <laughs> that's like really good and then again remember the vegeta family category super battle road stage that is it's a category stage so you're fighting all different types so this dark mass king Honestly, it's going to be on the level of Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I, like, he's going to be just as important for that stage as Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So, I mean, if you're a global player and maybe your Vegeta units aren't that good and stuff like that, I mean, getting Dark Mask King could be very good. I mean, a hun almost 180k defense and he's guarding and he lowers attack and he heals. Like, that's that's exceptional. He, he's, he's very good. Like, I, I love it. I absolutely love what they did with him. And then, like, because of how good Dark Mask King is, that just makes Black Mask Saiyan a little bit better as well, right? Because now it's like he really has a big time use on like the Vegeta family team. Again, Time Traveler, Pure Saiyan, like they're on all of the same teams as well. So it just works out very, very well in general, right? Um, okay, here, let's just go ahead and blow away. Well, we'll use the active skill, why not? Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of active skill action and just get rid of this uh, Goku and Vegeta right here. Um, all right, so this next turn, I guess this will be... No, I kind of want to get two more turns now that I think about it on this team. Because I would like to see... Huh, I, I want to see Dark Mask King without Black Mask Saiyan around, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much, right? 
because it's like on this Vegeta team, a lot of these links are going to be active with a lot of these. Because, like, the Vegeta family units, a lot of them do have... Again, so what do we have active right here? Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Shattering the Limit. Like, these are all very common on the Vegeta family team, right? Prepared for battle. So it's like, really, the, the one part about Black Mask Saiyan that's really enhancing Dark Mask King would be uh, the activating of his full passive, right? So again, we'll do this. Again, we have six out of seven links active, but Berserker, we have to fall below 50% HP. I still can't stand that. Oh! <laughs> yes, 222k defense. He's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Dark Mask King. Pretty good, <laughs> I have to say. 200k defense with guard, lowering attack, healing. I am very, very impressed. So uh, let me know what you guys think um, of this uh, Dark Mask King. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and finish up uh, for this run right here. And then, of course, with all these heroes units, we got to go take a look at them over on the crossover team, right? Crossover team would be good because, you know, like a lot of those units are going to be in the Dragon Ball Heroes category specifically. So it's going to make uh, Dark Mask King, you know, be able to hit those good heights. But remember, you know, if we have a rotation of Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, and Dark Mask King, there's no other um, Dragon Ball Hero category unit, right? It's just crossover. So that, that's the only sort of difference, but whatever. Well, let's just head over to the crossover team now. All right, so now we're over here on the crossover team, and there is one specific thing I want to talk about here, and that is our boy Demon God Deborah, right? So Demon God Deborah actually has loyalty, right? Which is one of the interesting links that got buffed during the link level update. Uh, loyalty is now key to and damage reduction 5% at link level 10, otherwise known as a dream for difficult events, right? So the Dragon Ball Hero team and the crossover team could be well suited um, in difficult events moving forward. Again, having a damage reduction link. And then on top of that, you know, like Demon God Debora and Dark Mask King are both fairly good for Super Battle Road. They're good Super Battle Road units. So that's going to be very interesting right there. Um, Dark Mask King, wow. He's at 100k defense and he doesn't have that 100% uh, part of his passive active yet. I mean, obviously, Demon Goddess uh, Toa is really, really helpful. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see uh, what Dark Mask King is going to look like on this team. He's going to look great. Uh, Demon Goddess Toa, we use her in every single showcase because she's just absolutely outrageous, right? Uh, key, attack, defense, she's got it all. Um, and then, of course, Dark Mask King is just so damn nuts. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Dark Mask King is super good, man. I, I I really like what they did with him a lot. Um, I mean, it, even having attack lowering healing, it's just it's so, he does so much. Like that's that's what makes him so good. Like these units who just do like a billion different things are just very very helpful, right? Um, okay, so I guess yeah, we'll just leave these two Super Saiyan Four Vegitos like this, um, and then we'll go ahead and float off Supremo Pie of Time. Uh, I don't know. So we'll probably get a couple of rotations here. So we'll have uh, Dark Mask King. You know, we'll have him linked up with Black Mask Saiyan, of course. You know, we could rock... It, like, if we're showing off Dark Mask King, of course, we want to have Black Mask Saiyan around. But it's not like you don't need him for Dark Mask King to be good, right? I mean, honestly, that last turn was fine because Dark Mask King is doing what he really can bring to the team, which is his defensive ability, right? Like, this defense is going to be crazy outrageous pretty much all the time anyway, right? Um, okay, so let's see what attacks that our boys got. Of course, it's another one of those turns where we are six out of seven links, except for Berserker, because we have to actually fall below 50% HP. Um, I mean, it would be a pretty outrage. This would be a pretty outrageous turn right here if we were below 50% HP, because Toa would be giving what either 90 or 80%. Then these two could get Berserker. I mean, Berserker at Link Level 10 would be 30%. So we could potentially get, like, another 80% attack if we are below 50% HP on this rotation right here. So that would be a huge amount of damage that both Dark Mask King and Black Mask Saiyan would be able to do. And then again, you know, Dark Mask King would be, what, I don't know, 2.5 million, 3 million, something like that, like, in that range. And then he will be having over 200k defense, and he will be guarding. Like, he's doing all of that. Like, that's a lot. And healing, and lowering attack. He, he's just super good. Like, I, I am very pleased with all these Dragon Ball 
um, hero units. Uh, I think they did a very, very good job with pretty much all of them. Um, I mean, maybe they could have made free-to-play Demon God Souls a bit better. Um, but, I mean, that's, that's just because they try, I feel like they maybe try to do too many things with him. Uh, we'll have the video for him coming out next. Uh, it's not that he's he's bad. I mean, he's a free-to-play unit, right? What can you expect? But, honestly, like, if they're going to make free-to-play units, just make them all stack defense. Like, <laughs> At the very least, that makes them better for, like, long events and stuff like that, right? Like, I feel like that's not necessarily the worst idea that they ever could do, right? So, all right, yeah, we'll do a bunch of damage here. I guess we'll get this next rotation um, with Supreme Opie of Time and Black Mask uh, Saiyan and Dark Mask King. And then we'll probably finish up. I mean, we're seeing the really, really capable numbers that uh, Dark Mask King's putting up with all the defense, the attack lowering, he does immense, he's healing, he... He's, he's got it all. Dark Mask King and Black Mask Saiyan. Black Mask Saiyan, like, Dark Mask King, it was obvious how freaking good he was. But Black Mask Saiyan, he's the one who I was a bit more impressed after I actually used him. I was like, okay, okay, okay. He, he's definitely really solid. So, we'll do this rotation, um, and then we'll go ahead and finish up. Obviously, guarding with 200k defense, you're not doing anything, Vegito. <laughs> Sorry, bucko. <laughs> By the way, crits... Like, like, Dark Mask King could do very well with both crits and additionals. Additionals, because he could potentially lower attack twice. But crits, because, remember, he does recover 10% of damage dealt his HP. So if you're critting, that's going to get you um, a, a lot more extra health on those super attacks, which could be very, very helpful, right? All right, so this is Warrior Shrouded in Darkness, Dark Mask King. Uh, his leader skill is Extreme Int Type Key 3 and 100% of the stats, so obviously not really too great there. Um, his super attack is the Dark King's Flash, which does immense damage and lowers enemy attack and defense. Uh, the lowering attack is good, and it is good for the combo with Black Mask Saiyan as well. You know, both of them lowering attack and, you know, having good defense and then Dark Mask King guarding. It, it'll definitely work out fairly well, I think. Um, then Dark Mask King's passive, Dark Mask's Ominous Aura, gives him 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets an additional 100% defense for five turns after receiving an attack. That's really good. Um, and, I mean, based upon the wording for that one specifically, after receiving an attack, I wonder if him dodging would still activate that, because it doesn't specify damage there or, like, activating guard or something like that, right? So, hmm, potentially. Um, that's interesting. But the 200% defense, it, uh, uh, then with the next part of his passive, guards all attacks when there's another Dragon Ball Hero category ally attacking in the same turn. That's going to make this guy ridiculously OP. Um, and then he also recovers 10% of damage dealt as HP, which of course is fairly strong as well. Very, very solid by our boy Dark Mask King. Um, his links are the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Loyalty, Berserker, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. So he has solid links with Black Mask Saiyan, which I guess is the one unit that really matters, because you can run this combo of the two of them on every single team that they're on together, which is obviously very good. Uh, then Dark Mask King's 12 key multiplier is 140%, which is obviously fairly solid right there. Um, typical what we would expect to see, right? Uh, and then finally, our boy is on several different category teams. So for starters, uh, he is here on the Pure Saiyan team. Uh, you know, only the largest category roster in the game. Not really too much else to talk about besides that, right? Uh, then, of course, we are also over here on the Time Traveler team. Again, very high hopes that the new Dokkan Fest Bojack coming out is going to be a new Time Traveler leader to really make this team just absolutely nuts. Uh, then, of course, we also have uh, Dark Mask King here on the Vegeta family team. This, to me, the single best, like, part of, like... The of, of these two, Black Mask Saiyan and Vegeta and uh, Dark Mask King, is their help to the Vegeta family team. Because, like, all these other teams, Pure Saiyan, Time Traveler, Dragon Ball Hero Crossover, just flat out doesn't even need them, right? I mean, yeah, they're nice on Dragon Ball Hero and Crossover and stuff like that. But it's Vegeta family, which is, like, this is what really needs help. Like, we're ready for Super Trunks, Dokkan Fest exclusive, followed by Summonable LR, Super Vegeta, like, all different types of shit like that, right? We need a lot of help for this Vegeta family team. It's time for them to start giving it big time bucks, right? Um, and then of course, Dark Mask King is on the uh, typical Dragon Ball Hero, as well as crossover categories that all these Dragon Ball Hero units are on, right? So let me know what you guys think of Dark Mask King. I think he is phenomenal, amazing, ferociously good. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.